It's remote and vast. The only people out there are the tribe and illegal loggers, hunters, miners. There's no police. Eu fui o líder geral do povo Suruí que defende floresta. He was the first indigenous chief ever to meet with Google Earth. He came to propose a partnership between the Suruí people and Google. He said, you know about technology, we know about the forest. We're here in the top corner of the 7th of September territory in the state of Rondonia in Brazil. They have satellite images showing illegal incursions into this area. I was interested in seeing what was happening with the deforestation of the Amazon. And that's when I came across the Surui tribe that is doing work with technology to try and stop deforestation in its territory. And it was kind of shocking because you kind of go from this kind of deforested plains area into the jungle and suddenly it's like you're in the middle of nowhere. O nosso contato com não indígena foi 7 de setembro de 1969. Once they made contact, they were exposed to all sorts of diseases, tuberculosis, influenza. E hoje, nossa população, aproximadamente... Their tribe was greatly diminished down to 300 members. A maior parte dos invasores, pelo garimpeiro, pelos madeireiros... They weren't able to defend their entire territory. And he said to his father, the time has come to put down the bow and arrow and to pick up the laptop as a tool for protecting their people, defending their land. He came across Google Earth and was shocked by what he saw. Você pode ver depois no imagem de satélite é, onde tem dentro do território é muito desmatamento. I first met Chief Almir in June of 2007. At that time, there was a $100,000 bounty on his head for mobilizing his people in resistance to the illegal logging invasions of his land. And he had a realization that Google Earth could be a tool to understand the threats that they face. You can even see in the satellite imagery areas where the land had been invaded. Some of these were areas that he didn't even know about. Nós já estamos muitos anos fazendo essas ações, mas nós nunca colocamos isso é, na mapa, na visão técnica. When the Sudoe get this information from Google Earth, they'll likely go to the area to see if they can get some really on the ground evidence of what's happening. While driving up there, you pass a lot of trucks with logs on them. And these are not government sanctioned shops. We're here with about 15 to 20 members of the Surui. There aren't a lot of villages in this part of the territory, so they want to make sure that trees aren't being cut down, illegal miners aren't coming in. There's a strange feeling of you don't know who's out here. Anybody that you're going to run into out there is probably not a good thing. They're probably not your friend. We did see evidence of people coming into the territory. We saw illegal roads that loggers had made. We saw illegal campsites. Throughout the night, I would hear these trucks rumbling up and down the road. What's really needed in these kind of situations is like a near real-time alerting system that is getting fresh imagery, fresh data, and can detect when changes happen and then sending an alert to people that may care about that. The idea is that they could see almost in real time what is happening in a certain area. We've built a platform we call Google Earth Engine. We have hundreds of feeds of satellite data and so on coming in. You can do massively parallel computation with thousands of computers on that data. For example, where is the forest changing in the last 24 hours? It's also possible to see longer term change in a forest. Here you can see how deforestation has encroached on the Surui territory since 1984. This map of risk and novas ferramentas. He's a very strong leader and he has profound insights about the role that technology could play in helping indigenous people. And he said, Google, if you can help us put ourselves on the map, then that will strengthen us. Bom, é, é um mapeamento que o, o povo Surui fez, o seu conhecimento cultural dentro do seu território. So that was actually the start of 
helping indigenous communities with mapping tools. And then also doing a better job in our products reflecting territorial sovereignty of indigenous peoples. Todo mundo podia conhecer e, e não só a história, mas também a luta que nós fazemos pelo futuro a partir da nossa floresta. These are the people that are defending the rainforest, which are the lungs of the planet for all of us. Mm -hmm.